Shanti. Date is 1st June 2023. Morning Murli, Bab Data, Madhuban. Essence of the Murli, sweet children, promise that you will definitely pass with honors, that your intellects will never have doubts about the mother and father, and that you will always be obedient and follow Srimad. So Baba is taking promise from us that we will definitely pass with honors and our intellects will have no doubt about the mother and father and we will always follow Srimad. Question, what aspect do you children have to be very careful about while boxing Maya? Answer, while boxing, be very careful that you don't develop doubts about the mother and father. Here the mother is Brahma Baba and father is Shiv Baba. If there is impure arrogance or impure attachment or greed, your status will be destroyed. You should have the pure grid to claim your inheritance of heaven from the unlimited father and have full attachment to the one father. You have to die alive. <clears throat> I belong to the one father and I will claim my inheritance from the father alone. No matter what happens, promise yourself this. Become real children and there will be unlimited attainment. When you have doubts, you lose your status. So again, Baba is saying that what aspect do we have to take care of that we don't be defeated by Maya? So the first thing is we don't we never have to develop doubts about the mother and father. And if there is any impure attachment or greed, the status will be destroyed. We have to take full inheritance of heaven from the unlimited father and have full attachment to the one father. Song, the heart desires to call out to you. Om Shanti. The meaning of Om is very easy. I am a soul. I am silence. Souls are definitely immortal. Who is explaining this? The unlimited father. There are many children. Among them too. Only a handful out of multi-millions and only a few of that handful understand. You children know that the unlimited father is making you worthy so that he can give you the inheritance of unlimited happiness. When we were deities, we were worthy of worship and the worthy masters of the world. Bharat was the golden sparrow. Bharat at that time was righteous, lawful and 100% solvent. The father explains this. Truly, we were so worthy. We were the masters of the world. The father is now giving us the right to be able to rule over the whole world. Maya has made you so bankrupt that you are not even worth a shell. You only perform unrighteous acts. Only the one father teaches you righteous acts. And he is also called the truth. You used to sing to him. You are the mother and father. You are sitting personally in front of him and are making effort to claim your unlimited inheritance from him. You know that you belong to him. The father also says, you belong to me. At this time, no one knows me, the father. Sometimes you say, he is beyond name and form. 
sometimes you put me into every name and form and say god is in all the pebbles and stones which is not right there are innumerable religions and innumerable opinions therefore baba says renounce all of those bodily religions souls say i am christian i am muslim you have to forget those bodily religions the father now says beloved children when you see mamma baba no one can ever forget mamma and baba here the wonder is that children forget such a mother and father from whom you receive the inheritance for 21 births you remembered your physical parents for birth after birth this is your final birth you have the faith that the same father truly comes every cycle and makes you into deities so then why do you forget such a father children say according to the drama we also forgot you in the previous cycle some belong to the father and then leave him those who were amazed by this knowledge who belong to god listened to this knowledge and related it to the others were then affected by maya and ran away maya doesn't separate you from your physical parents some children do divorce their father the father from beyond makes you worthy of heaven and gives you such a huge inheritance those are limited parents whereas that one is the unlimited mother and father who gives you the sovereignty of heaven even when you have faith why do you divorce such a father so baba is asking when we have faith that baba gives us the sovereignty of heaven then why do we divorce him good children stay here for 5 to 10 years play good parts and are then defeated this is a battlefield you must never stop remembering the father when remembrance is reduced there is great damage maya has conquered many children she swallows them raw it was as though an alligator swallowed them you are becoming maharathis so maya makes you fall and completely swallows you very good first class children who used to go into trance on whose directions the mother and father played their parts are no longer here today so baba is saying that maya swallows the children in a raw form i was giving an example that the first class children who used to go into trance who used to come and give directions and then the mother and father played their parts according to the directions from shiv baba are also no longer here today what happened they developed doubts about some things baba explains those whose intellects have faith become victorious whereas whose intellects have doubts are led to destruction such ones then reach such a low stage you come here to claim your full inheritance from the father of becoming prince and princesses what would your status be if you become those who were amazed by knowledge and then ran away you would become part of the subjects with a low status there will also have to be a lot of punishment there are the chief judges etc in the government here all are one the father says i come to make you pure from impure if you do not become completely pure you will become the impure of the impure So Baba is saying that if we do not become completely pure, we will lose our status and become the impure of the impure. 
if you disregard the almighty authority father there will be very severe punishment from dharmraj these matters have to be understood you say you are the mother and father therefore you have to follow his directions while following the directions of shri shri you have to stay in complete yoga you were elevated you will take 21 elevated births in the sun dynasty and the moon dynasty and become emperors and empresses you need the directions of shri shri in order to become elevated only the one is called shri shri that is shiv baba deities are only called shri at this time there there is the devilish community that is those who follow the dictates of devils the five wises you children now receive the directions of shri shri through which you become shri lakshmi and shri narayan you receive this title you receive your fortune of the kingdom in the golden and silver ages there are the crowns of purity and of jewels the sun and moon dynasties are shown with crowns only the emperors and empresses are shown with crowns the subjects are not shown with crowns then when they become impure in the copper age they are not shown with the crowns of light impure kings and queens worship the pure kings and queens at this time neither crown exists they have become crownless this is government of the people by the people which is called the people's government you are pandavas you too have no crowns you have become so wise you know the incorporeal world the subtle region the corporeal world that is the beginning the middle and the end of the world you know that you are once again becoming double crown you receive both health and wealth the unlimited father is teaching you and so you are students of the pandava government so here right now it is the people's government but baba is saying that we are pandavas and we are the students of the pandava government god speaks i teach you raj yoga they have simply changed the name in the gita this mistake has been caused because of the confluence you are now receiving the inheritance from the unlimited father you receive happiness in the golden and silver ages and then from the copper age onwards memorials will begin to be built in your name the memorials of those who die here are created here in the land of death just as when nehru died his memorial was created here your memorials will not remain in the land of immortality your memorials will be later in the copper age so here the memorials of those who die here are created in this land itself that is in the land of death with baba is saying that our memorials will then later be created in the copper age therefore all of those who you see begin to be built in the copper age no one knows who jagadamba adi devi etc are they should know this people should know about the beginning middle and end of the drama should they not even lakshmi and narayan are not aware of it the father is knowledgeful we are his children and we have become master knowledgeful number wise according to our efforts 
the father is the ocean of purity and we are also becoming that souls that have become impure become pure again however no one can become pure by bathing in the ganges only the one father is called the purifier you are sitting personally in front of him once you have faith that's it children never forget their father even when he dies they invoke his soul he comes and speaks this part is according to the drama and so that soul comes and talks whatever happened in the past is fixed in the drama you should understand the drama in the right way don't say if it is in my fortune i will make effort it isn't that if you just sit somewhere water would enter your mouth by itself so baba is giving an example that if we don't make an effort we cannot make our fortune so baba here is giving example that we would not get water in our mouth by itself we have to go and get it by ourselves so in the same way we have to make effort without making effort we cannot claim high status and make our fortune no effort is first no effort is first required for everything no one can sit down just like that if they were simply to sit idly they would die sanyasis adopt renunciation of acting but for as long as they have physical organs they cannot renounce performing actions how would they get up or sit down it is the soul that makes the body function since cars are in the soul at night the soul becomes bodiless the soul says i have become tired from performing actions therefore i take a rest at night and become bodiless it is a soul that eats and drinks and a soul that sees through those organs i am a barrister i am so and so souls call out to the father souls remember oh god the father have mercy so baba is explaining that it is the soul who performs all the actions like drink eating drinking and even speaking through these organs he is knowledgeful and blissful he has full knowledge here you have incomplete knowledge no one knows what brahmand is what the subtle region is how the drama repeats where souls go how they take rebirth and how many births they take so no one knows all of these you children continue to know this according to the efforts you make you have to inspire others to sit on this fire of knowledge and show them the path to paradise no one else knows this the father explains children don't let go of the father's hand by remembering the father your sins will be absolved the father doesn't remember any children he knows that all are his children all of them remember me they are going to stay with me in the land of nirvana that is paramdham sweet home therefore you must you must therefore you mustn't forget the father even by mistake you must not have doubts the father is now ordering you constantly remember me alone and also remember your inheritance even if there is any conflict don't forget the father your boat will sink when you forget the father if, if there is any difficulty or if we are going to any hard times we forget the father so baba is saying even if there is any conflict don't forget the father our boat will sink when you forget the father you have many enemies 
because you yourself say that the flames of destruction emerged from this sacrificial fire of knowledge of Rudra. You tell everyone clearly that only after this war will the gates to liberation and liberation in life open. That is the path to sweet home and the path to go to the golden age will open. Many souls go to the land of liberation and then go into liberation in life. Those of the deity religion will go first. All the others establish their own religions. The father says, I first of all establish the small Brahmin religion and then together with that I change Brahmins into deities. How could Shudras claim the grandfather's inheritance unless they become Brahmins? They surely have to go into the clans. It can be understood when someone appears to belong to the deity clan. The saplings of those who belong to this clan are being planted. The father explains, you must never forget such a sweet Bab Dada to whom you say you are the mother and father. Through your teachings, we will receive happiness for 21 unlimited births. You have to make effort and claim the highest status of all. Worthy children, promise, Baba, I will definitely pass with honors and show you. I will definitely claim my fortune of the Sun Dynasty Kingdom. The father says, you have to be very Careful, Maya is no less. Each one of you has to make so much effort that you claim a Sun Dynasty status in heaven. If you make effort now, your efforts will continue in the same way every cycle. Baba says, sweet children, be careful. Never let your intellects have doubts. In worldly relationships, Children can never have doubts about their parents. It is impossible. Here too, your intellects should have remembrance of Baba. This Baba is the one who gives you unlimited happiness. In spite of that, Maya defeats you children in boxing. The father says, never have impure arrogance or impure greed. In fact, you are very greedy. However, it is the pure greed to claim your inheritance of heaven from the unlimited father. You also have pure attachment. So ours is the pure greed and pure attachment. Pure greed is to claim inheritance from the unlimited father. Have total attachment to the one father. You have to die alive. That's all. I belong to the one father. I will claim my inheritance from the father alone. No matter what happens, you have to promise yourself this. You will have unlimited attainment. There is no attainment anywhere else. You should have no doubt about this. You might have doubts about other things, but you do belong to the Father, do you not? You must never have doubts about the Father. Those who are completely pure are said to be real ones. Impure ones are step ones. As you make progress, you will continue to understand what status others would claim if they were to leave their bodies at that time. So Baba is saying that those children who are completely pure are the real children and those who are impure are the step ones. So we will understand this as we make progress. Acha, to the sweetest, 
beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning. From the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children. We, the spiritual children, say, Namaste to the spiritual father. Meethe, meethe, sikhiladhe bachcho prati, mat pita, bab dada ka yaad pyaar or good morning. Ruhani bab ki, ruhani bachcho ko namaste. Ham ruhani bachcho ki, ruhani mat pita, bab dada ko yaad pyaar, good morning or namaste. Essence for dharna, point number one, move along while understanding the drama very clearly. Make effort and create your reward. Don't just sit down and say, it's the drama. So Baba is saying, just don't give an excuse and sit down and say that it's the drama. We have to make effort and create our reward. Number two, never disregard the father. Follow his Srimad at every step. Never have doubts about the father. Blessing, may you be full of good wishes and pure feelings and be content and make everyone content. Brahmins are those who remain constantly content and also make everyone content. Therefore, no matter what happens, no matter how much someone tries to shake you, just remain content and make others Content. Remain aware of this and you will never get angry. If someone is repeatedly making a mistake, do not get angry in trying to transform that person. But be merciful and have a vision of good wishes and pure feelings and that person will easily be transformed. Slogan. Become experienced in God's love and no obstruction will stop you. Om Shanti.